Hi, this is Richard Lynch. You're watching ILoveLimerick.com. And today we've gathered the People's Park Limerick for Limerick's Urban Horse Project. Angela, can you tell me, where were the roots of this Limerick Urban Horse Project? The roots of this project, I suppose, really go back eight years. We started up in the LUDP, which is in Roxburgh, painting horses on walls. Uh, we did 26 large-scale murals. From that, we collaborated with the Hunt Museum on a huge project over a couple of years, developing three-dimensional horses, which still sit outside the Hunt Museum. And from that, the urban horse has been born and sits here today with 15 of them behind us here at the moment. Could you tell me a little bit about the Limerick Corridor Art Programme? The Limerick Corridor Art Programme really started with getting children involved in public art and having a say, having a voice, being able to decorate areas of their city with art that they have actually made and participated in. And the original two horses that you built up in the LEDP, they were launched by no less than the Rubber Bandits, which must have been a huge big deal for you and all the kids. The Rubber Bandits were extremely supportive and I suppose the concept for the horse outside developed alongside the Rubber Bandits and, and their song, The Horse Outside. And I suppose from that development, we have now got our own urban horse, which is totally unique to Limerick. This is a Limerick City of a Culture project and initiative. You decided today to go a different route with the horses and they're now in a position where the kids can actually sit on them and enjoy them? Correct, yes. We, I suppose the horse was developed basically with safety in mind, but also to be highly interactive for young children. Tell me, Angela, why horses? They, there's just, uh, I don't know, an instinctive feel for horses, a bond with horses. And if you look at one of the horses here just behind us, it's horses and happiness is written on it. So horses bring happiness into people's lives. And art brings happiness into people's lives. And this interactiveness between the horse and the art is, is really, it's happiness all around us. Limerick City Culture gave the funding, the necessary support that was required to get this project where it is today, from the beginning to end. I suppose without funding we can't go anywhere. Anna, can you tell me what you love about these horses and which is your favourite? Um, I like them because they're really, really colourful and they have really cool designs. And my favourite one is the one that has all the colours, the goldy one. What do you love so much about horses? is that they can go really, really fast. And you love that you're able to sit on all these horses in the park and you can pick whatever one you want and sit on them? Yep. I really, really like it. <laughs> can you tell me, Liam, what you had to do with this horse here? Uh, I designed the back bit of it and uh, I put on the tie bit as well. It felt good to be involved in like something that would be here for a good while. And are you an artistic person, or did this encourage you to be even more artistic? Um, I was an artistic person before, but it, like, it helped a bit. It's inspired you? Yeah. And how did your school get involved? The Heritage Project contacted us and asked us, would we like to be involved? And we put forward a submission, and the third year students then each did a separate design, which we amalgamated then onto the horse. Larry, can you tell me how the Bedford Grove Family Project got involved in this? Angela approached us to see would we be in, interested in decorating a horse, and we didn't know what that meant at the time, but um, we said we'll go for it anyway because it sounded really exciting. So Paul, our, um, our, our art, uh, art teacher, and all the lads in the men's group felt really enthusiastic about this, and uh, so that's how we started. What is Bedford Row exactly? Bedford Row is a project that, that, uh, that supports families of prisoners and people who have been through the system and who have unfortunate enough to have gone to prison and uh, who are trying to turn their life around. It's very much reflective of our project because it, it, it charts the journey from, if you like, maybe a bit of not, not very good feeling into, uh, hope, into hope and light and acceptance. On one side we, we have, I suppose, uh, and, and some of the men themselves put these words into my head, that, that the imprisonment that we find ourselves in sometimes, even if we're not physically behind bars, we could have the imprisonment of addiction or we could have the imprisonment of, of maybe despair or something or difficulties in our lives. And then the other side reflects the freedom that we have when we overcome those difficulties. But this project, this horse project, um, I, it provided us with a lovely focus for, for our other parts of our work as well, you know. 
Can you tell me about what developing this horse meant to the kids in your project? Uh, I think we really went back to what they really had a huge interest in, which was soccer, and then obviously back to the horses as well. They absolutely loved it. So we went with the World Cup team, and uh, it's actually the top eight countries that were in the World Cup. So we had loads of a big program around it. So we done geography about where they were and the capitals of the country. So there was a load of like learning in it. So it's absolutely fabulous, and I think it looks absolutely stunning. Angela had done an amazing job of bringing everyone together, and she was really good at. Uh, helping people create what they wanted to so we couldn't be more excited and the idea of being here this evening with all of the groups is absolutely fabulous. Sheila how does it feel to see this project come to life? Limerick City of Culture were so heavily involved in it bringing such a diverse group of communities together. Well what's amazing is that it's an evolution of a project that Angela had uh, decided on a number of years ago where she wanted to bring the horses to life in a way that it was right to do so not kind of in the background and you know the two horses in the hunt have become symbolic now of a horse outside but what's wonderful about this is the evolved horse has become more playful and i think the people of limerick who have horses actually that you know they think of them like that they think of them as things that they enjoy and we need to honor and celebrate that so it's wonderful to see these here today how did it feel to be involved in creating something so beautiful um it was a very fun experience for all of us and it was um it was very shocking, you know, to be a part of it. Why was it shocking? Because it felt surreal, like, as if, like, that you were painting a horse, like, and, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to pursue your life as an artist because of this horse? Yes, because um, I think all of us are very creative, so I think that we can do, you know, what we want to do and just be an artist, just whatever we want to be. And this horse makes you feel that way? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> You've brought in all these different Limerick communities to work together on a project. What does that mean to you and what does that mean to this programme? The programme from the beginning was about connecting communities and connecting people and bringing them outside their comfort zone. This year was fantastic from the point of view. We had 18 communities working together, diverse communities covering all areas of the city. And it, it, it was exactly what we had started eight years ago to set out and develop and bring all these communities together, which is what the City of Culture this year and this project has achieved. Helen, this is such an incredible project. What do you think about art bringing such a diverse range of communities in Limerick together? Well, this is a really good example of the very best of community art and bringing communities together. I mean, this is, for me, City of Culture, the highlight of City of Culture. So many communities involved, so many kids involved. It's touchy, feely, they can enjoy these animals. It's not art that you sort of have to stay back from. I think this is the very best of what City of Culture can bring to Limerick. I mean, the colour, the vibrancy, it's just magic. The Hunt Museum is such a huge part of art and culture in Limerick City, and you've been involved with this project from the beginning. How does it feel to see this come to life today? Oh, it's brilliant. It's a very community-driven thing. It's uh, very cheerful, very colourful, very human scale, and it sort of makes art and colour very accessible to everyone. It's great. As someone who loves the arts, how important do you that projects like this and the arts are supported in Limerick City? I think uh, hugely. We are a very artistic community in this city with music and painting and structure and all the rest of it. And I think this is a huge celebration. This is, I mean, this is really special for the children. That's really special because you start at the bottom and work up and it's very good. And they're the young people and that's, that's what I like. Where do you see it moving? After this point, what would you what would you like to see the, the program do? LCAP, Limerick Art Program, do next. Well, we're definitely going to be going into developing our herd in greater numbers, engaging with County Limerick and beyond, possibly um, going abroad, and having partnerships develop with with the love of horses, the love of animals, and the love of art all in mind. And how can people help your, your, your project into the future and help the Limerick Corridor Art Programme and Limerick Urb, Limerick's Urban House project? How can they help into the future? Well, they can help by supporting us and maybe buying some of our models. We already have seven models sold and it's becoming an enterprise where we'll be looking in time for a place to stay, for a place to develop and grow and where children can come as an after-school project and, and work from there and also run an enterprise from there. 
Hi, this is Richard Lynch. You've been watching ILoveLimerick.com and this has been the Limerick Urban Horse Project. We'll see you soon.